What's up party people? This is Vernon Mashwell and today we're going to answer the age old question of should you buy cheap DJ equipment? Now before we get into that I always like to give people a little background on who I am and what I'm doing um, so you guys know exactly where this information is coming from and the validity of this information. So I've uh, been DJing for about seven years now. I've toured exclusively uh, with a hip-hop group by the name of 40 Long for the last three years under the moniker DJ Vinyl V. Um, we've also been able to open for you know, a handful of national acts, Afro Man, um, Andre Legacy, Dirk Nasty, Mike Posner, um, Wiz Khalifa as well. Also, I've, um, I've traveled um, and done some international gigs myself. Um, outside of uh, what we're doing with the group and uh, so let's get into you know the information that you came here for obviously if you came here you, you're probably dealing with this dilemma you know you know or asking yourself should you buy or should you purchase cheap DJ equipment and a lot of times a question I'll get is is it really worth it and my reply with the, to this would be well not exactly because see you got to understand that the the material that this the the cheap DJ equipment is made out of, you know, it's obviously cheap. Um, it's put together with cheap labor, and these manufacturers can afford to crank out high number of widgets or whatever, you know, the pieces and the parts that they're using to make this equipment. And you know, since their numbers are so high, you know, they can afford to, you know, I guess, you know, for you know, lack of, of, of actually, you know, quality, making quality, you know, produced um, products, they can afford to, you know, make, you know, a lot of cheap stuff because they're still profitable since, since they're doing really high volume numbers. So, you know, why shouldn't you buy DJ equipment, right? Why shouldn't you buy cheap DJ equipment? Well, in my opinion, it won't last. Uh, the costly repairs and maintenance will actually end up probably costing you more than it's worth. And, you know, you even may end up, you know, you know find yourself in a situation where it's costing you more. Um, it's mo costing you more time and money because you're not being able to do gigs because you're stuck at home because you don't have equipment. People are calling you, blowing you up, telling you they need you to DJ at a club, a wedding or a party. Um, so obviously you're losing money there. So why should you buy it? Well, um, you know, a lot of times people are in a pinch. You know, if you need a mixer, you know, today, and you got a couple hundred bucks, and you're gonna make, you know, let's say two grand from a show, then you need, obviously you need to go out and buy a mixer. You know, it's it's you know you're you're only doing it because you're in a pinch. You know, also, uh, you know, a lot of people don't have a choice. You know, they're not really um, making a lot of money. They don't have a large budget when it comes to uh, you know purchasing their right. Uh, equipment you know and quality equipment so uh, you just have to do what you got to do to get by and you know if that's what you have to do then that's okay um, also you know if if you <laughs> I say I say this you know laughingly because um, you know you should you should also buy DJ cheap DJ equipment if you have the money to keep replacing it right like if you don't care that it's gonna break and you're like, dude, I have a ton of money. I don't care. Um, you know, I'll just buy something whenever it breaks. Then you know, that's that's fine. You know, that's okay. That's you. But a lot of people don't aren't in that position, right? So my final thoughts um, in closing, you know, it's, uh, it's obviously it's up to you to decide on you know whether you know cheap DJ equipment is right for you. Uh, I would say do your homework. Definitely know the legitimacy and the credibility of the source that you're buying the equipment from, um, and even the manufacturer and the brand. Also, you know, expect the unexpected. Um, Murphy's Law of DJing. Expect to show up to a gig and your equipment not to work, right? Like, I know that sucks to hear, but that's the truth, you know. Um, when you're really buying cheap, cheap DJ equipment, cheap brands, you know you're gonna you're gonna get what you pay for you really are so um, keep that in mind and um, you know if you guys want to get the uh, specific details from this post um, just go to my uh, website here at laptopjock.com 
<clears throat> you'll be able to see the original post or you can see the link below in the description and that'll also take you to the website where you can get a free copy of my beginner DJ equipment guide uh, obviously you're gonna you know it's not enough to know that you're going to buy cheap DJ equipment or you're not going to buy cheap DJ equipment you have to know um, you know what equipment to buy specifically and in my guide I suggest um, some equipment that you can pick up also subscribe to our YouTube channel like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and that is all she wrote folks peace